An aircraft's wings and tail are built with a very specific aerodynamic shape in order to provide proper lift for flight. Snow and ice on these areas change the wing's shape and disrupt the airflow across critical surfaces. Even the smallest amounts of snow or ice on an aircraft can affect its ability to generate lift or to maintain control in flight. After you've boarded and are comfortably in your seat, the aircraft pushes back from the gate and makes a stop at the CDF before heading to the runway. The plane will be assigned to one of six dicing pads, where multiple dicing trucks will converge and begin spraying the aircraft. Each truck is driven by a de-icing specialist who sits in an elevated cab so that he or she can guide a spray arm to clean the aircraft with a glycol-based fluid. Heated glycol is used because when heated, it holds on to that warmth and protects the critical surfaces while melting away ice or snow. There are two types of glycol used. First type is a mix of glycol and water and has a distinctive orange color. This mixture breaks the bond between frost, ice or snow and the wings of the plane. It's sprayed with force to knock the snow and ice off the plane. Second type is an anti-icing fluid that stops new ice or snow from sticking to the plane, especially when it's still snowing. This fluid is bright green in color. Once the de-icing treatment is done, the pilot taxis the aircraft away from the de-icing pad and to the runway for takeoff. Each de-icing pad is sloped from north to south, which allows the used glycol spray to run directly into special drains which connect to any one of the CDF's massive underground storage tanks. The tanks have a combined volume of 15 million liters. The contents of these tanks are measured, tested and recycled for use in other markets, all to keep any glycol runoff from impacting the natural environment.